hello beautiful people it's cinderoma welcome to the channel today we're back again with another video from pierce morgan let's check it out well it's a lie it's an image that's synonymous with the british monarchy a royal family photo set on the buckingham palace balcony the people across the world are willing to camp out in the pouring rain just to catch a glimpse of in person this is how the actress adjua ando decided to describe the moment that king charles and queen Camilla appeared for the first time following their coronation flanked by their family on the famous balcony We've gone from the, uh, the, uh, the rich diversity of the Abbey to a terribly white balcony. I'm <laughs> very struck by yes. that. Well, Netflix star who plays Lady Danbury in Bridgerton has now apologised for upsetting people after her comments caused a backlash on social media. But did she have a point? Or was her opinion actually the thing that was terrible? Well, let's discuss this now with uh, Paula Rowan, Adrian and Tessa Dunlop. So, Paula, here's my problem with this. Mm. Imagine for a moment... We talked about the Tongan royal family. And I said, wow, they're terribly Polynesian or terribly black. What would you have said? So I can't answer that question because I don't know the history of the Tongan royal family. Well, they're but Polynesian. I do, but I do know the history of this royal family to the extent that there are people of colour in this royal family. We haven't seen, for example, the descendants of Anaya, her name was, until she was baptised, Sarah Forbes Bonetta. We don't have the descendants of, for example, princess, uh, the princesses who came from, from India. Why, why not? But they're not the kids of the senior working royals. They the only criteria for being on the balcony Victoria's is they're the senior family. members of the family, who, part. by the way, happen to be white. When was that a crime? Here's that a family's shout, white. You can shout because you know that what I'm about to say is going to upset you because it's right. Piers, Queen Victoria had a wonderful family portrait, and that family portrait included people of colour. Where are those descendants? Why aren't they on the balcony? Where is Meghan? Where are her Where's children? Meghan? Where is Dory? I'll tell you where, where Meghan are, was. Where are Meghan they? Meghan is at her $11 million mansion in California, which is gained from the proceeds of trashing the royal family for the last <clears> three years. That's where she is. I accept that the adverb of terribly probably wasn't what I would choose. You but think? Dis disappointingly, right. All right, I would. Adjua actually goes to my local church and she's a seriously good egg. And I think she just had a sort of instinctive reaction that, wow, the people on that balcony don't look like they represent me. I would actually move away from the idea of very distant descendants because that would have looked like curious casting just for the sake of pleasing the press. And I would have suggested we missed a trick. And I said this on your show and I've said it elsewhere and I've been decried by all the royal press pack. The casting of those honorary page boys was a massive ball drop. There was no criteria to say, for instance, George, Prince George, being a page boy was absolutely against protocol to have somebody in line to succession I have a list being here. in a server. Hang on. So my, my, just my, can I just get I my suggestion no, no. out? I have a list here. Wow. It's how it's so convenient for some black people to do the exact same thing that they've been complaining about that white people used to do to them back in the day. But now they are the exact same ones doing the exact same thing and they don't see any issue with it. But I mean, why are you doing the exact same thing you're complaining about and you don't see any problem with it? So if you think, so if you're doing something um, to somebody and you know you cannot accept it, why are you doing it to somebody? You've been complaining and talking that about how people or white people were wrong. Um, exactly, lots of people have been saying, "Oh, what happened? What or what used to happen in the segregation area era back in the day was terribly wrong, and now people want to make sure to fix it." But it seems like there are people who are trying to flip the script, uh, script and make sure that it is repeated. That's why people learn history for their own selfish gain to fine-tune it or repeat it in a way that is beneficial to them saying or oh, the royals are terribly white is wrong because if people or if a white person were to say terribly black i bet you will see lots of black people all up on the street so why do they think it is okay to say that and go get get away with it and think nothing wrong with it make it make sense because you came out with all this claptrap last week. This, I can't even read these two cards, which are all the examples of diversity of the people yeah. in Westminster Abbey. It goes on and on right. and rightly on. That was the most multicultural service this country has ever 
put on. The idea it wasn't... It, it was too white is completely ridiculous. It appears we are talking about the intimate royal family, which, you'll remember, was rocked by now unfound they're accusations white. of racism. They're Bear white with people. Me. Bear with me. No, they're not all family people members. of the colour. Right, let me ask you a question. I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to tell you. No, I'm going to ask Lord you a Oliver question. Chomney is not a relation. All right. Nicholas Barclay up there, the one of the papers, is not a relation. Let me ask you. So, let so, me ask I... you a question. You got married, right? Yes. In your wedding snaps, how many non-white people are there? Um, it was a state occasion. Uh, it was not uh, a personal question. wedding. Simple question. And the king... It's not a simple question. It's not a simple question. It's actually I, detracting Let the record show you issue. haven't answered my question. It's detracting from yeah. the issue. Hang on. It is. It's simplifying I simply the issue. asked how many non-white people would be in your wedding pictures. They were all Romanian because I got married to a Romanian. I want to suggest so they're all that the Tongan, the Tongan just family... Just to be clear... They were all Just to be clear, white. You, I, didn't, you didn't go around and try and find some people who weren't immediate family and put them in your picture to look more diverse. But this I, isn't I, a royal family who would have had to look very far, Piers. And that's the point. Well, you're they talking about Meghan Markle. To, Why would they want her there? Very far. I'm so sorry. You mentioned Tonga earlier. The king of Tonga or queen is not also the monarch of 14 other realms. Why not get 14 boys and girls from those 14 other realms? That's diversity. Because actually, that's if you looked at, if you looked at the congregation honor. and who was invited and looked at the procession of 7,000 people, there were literally hundreds and thousands, actually, of people who were not white in both of those, but right? It intimate. just so happens that in the senior members of our royal family, they are white people, which last time I checked in this country is not illegal. You are allowed to be white. There was no suggestion, and, I, and I, this is ramping up uh, unfairly what Jo was, uh, was said, and remember, no, no, it's she, not. And, she and said remember, they were terribly she said white. lots of wonderful things about the coronation, and she said lots of wonderful she things about the, about the royal family. White. But what she white? was talking about the contrast. I think it's a terribly bad to, view. We need to put it There's, in, and I would go as far as to call it race baiting. It's what? drawing some weird racial no. dimension to a, a family, we know the senior members of that family are white, we know their kids are white. What's the problem? It was not their they kids. Made, they made the service and the procession more multicultural than anything of its kind in the history of the world, but probably. Piers. And all I'm hearing is, you're all terribly white. It's it, pathetic. No. But, Piers, it was about the friends. They could have cast it differently. Because How many Boys friends did you have in your wedding honor. pictures? None. But it's a state occasion. Because your family were all white. Wedding. Charles and Camilla so you, were you don't practice married. what you preach. No, I, I'm not talking about their personal Charles and Camilla wedding. We're talking yeah. about a state occasion yeah. where the page boys and the honorary maids of honour could have been recruited differently. It was a real chance So you could to have recruited in. people who were not immediate members of your family. You just go off and find random people no. to tick some diversity. But no, it's, it's ridiculous. They could not have been more diverse this is not about in the planning ticking a diversity of this event. box. This is not about ticking a diversity box. And I have to actually say about King Charles, he has said himself, look, this is time that we start to look inward mm. in terms of the role that the royal family plays in the slave trade. And that's important, bearing in mind... Don't even get me started on that. We have a government, we have a to government do with who has Charles. only just recently finished paying compensation to slave owners. All right. That's another years. debate. And by the way, we will have that debate because that is a nonsense too. Uh, the know, idea that, that this king, who couldn't be less racist, literally couldn't be if he tried or if I paid him, is not going to have to pay people or order the payments to people from centuries ago... The stuff that isn't happening now to anybody connected to that is nonsensical. To me, maybe I'm the mad one, though. Maybe it was all terrible. Or maybe actually I'm right. Thank you, Pack. Talk about remove the skill from your eye first before you remove that from somebody's eye or before you remove it from somebody's eye. So they are talking about diversity. They want to see the royal family so diverse. So to recruit people that look or that are black or that are more diverse so it, the royal family would represent a more diversity or diverse population or group make it make sense because obviously if they were to recruit or add people who were completely different from them on the balcony or whatever they would be the exact same people that are, that would complain and say oh what are they trying to do and prove I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. Diversity is not going to be the end of the society. If people are deserving of the job and can do the job, let them freaking do it. You don't have to have people who look like you to represent you, to know that or to show that they can do the job or they are good at the job. As long as they are good at the job, regardless of their skin color, let them freaking get it and let them freaking do it. 
I don't get and understand how people are so consumed with skin color or by skin color and are so blinded that they all the only thing they want to see is diversity, different skin color to create a contrast. Really? How did you even get here? We're talking about things or issues that happened hundreds of years ago, rather. And instead of trying to fix it or trying to make sure it's not repeated, there are some people that are seated somewhere that are being paid tons of money to make sure that it is repeated and it, it, the script is being flipped to the side that is most beneficial. Obviously, if you want to kill racism for good, we have to really stop talking about it and stop seeing people based on their skin color or based on their skin color because we need to start doing better together as a society. But I really love your thoughts in the comment down below. You can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and all of that stuff. And until next time, see you in the next video.